All right, let's go ahead and get in here. That's going to be a terrible hill just like that. Is that that concrete is something else? Holy mackerel. I just wanted to feed my cows. What is going on? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's me, Jimmy Jams, back with more Millionaire Milkman. And today we start July a new Bruh. I gotta get rid of this truck. I mean, it's sweet looking, but the practicality for the farm uh it, it, it's just terrible anyway back to what i was saying it is july we are only a few months away before we need to sell our delicious milk up here at the farm store and we have a big surprise waiting back at the farm i just got to sell a couple more things and we can jump back in and see what i had uh cooked up at the end of june uh it's pretty pretty exciting I got a, got a couple more things we can take a look at, and uh, that way we uh, can make our way to being the millionaire milkman. I'm super excited to show you what I have. All I got to do is sell a couple of these things, these uh, delicious strawberries, mushrooms, uh, flowers if you want to eat them, eggs and honey. And there we go. We have sold what we needed for 19000 I think that's a total of a hundred and something thousand dollars that uh, we've made today. I did make one purchase uh after i sold my first load uh just something that we could get our feed to our cows a little bit easier but anyway once we get back over there i'm excited to show you what we have in store for july and moving forward so i'll meet you back at the ranch all right we have returned to the ranch let's go ahead and drive over here and see exactly what I was talking about. Of course, we have our original, uh, our three barns. Cows are still going good. We still gotta do uh, some, some feeding of those. And here we go. Two brand new cow stalls right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think these will hold 45 cows. I believe these are 45 cows you can uh, put in here. Uh, we'll give you milk and all those fun things. We do need to start emptying out the slurry. We might want to look at uh, possibly getting something uh, to, to pick all that stuff up so we're not drowning in slurry. So let me go park this back up at the front and then I will meet you back at the tractor to show you what I, what I purchased on the back of that. And then we can continue discussing uh, what July's activities will be. So we have purchased a brand new tipper wagon for our hay and our grass and our straw. It'll fit in the barn. That way we can get in there and tip it a little bit easier. And it has a little bit bigger capacity. Only cost me a few thousand dollars, but I think it's worth it. Uh, so actually we need to get in here and purchase some cows uh let's see we have one hundred twenty-four thousand dollars to play with and uh do i want full grown full grown hmm we do full grown we'll do full grown cows it's only four hundred dollars more so these hold 45 so we will do 20 20 of these we'll buy and then we'll buy 20 of these and then uh, I guess we'll do 25. And that leaves us with how much money do we got love? Whoop, got to save real quick. So that leaves us with $50,000. So it looks like we're going to be uh, close to <laughs> um, broke again. But you got to spend money to make money. And that's what Susan always says. So we'll do that. We'll fill these. Nope. So we're short cow. Okay, so... We can only put so many cows here, which is fine because I have to go get the cows from up front too. So let's go ahead and get these cows. We definitely need, uh, so we're looking at here, the self-made cow shed. They need, of course, straw, hay, grass. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill up some of this hay right here. This holds uh, quite a few, let's see, 18,000, which is not bad. We'll go on over here and uh, deliver some delicious hay to these beauties and dump this out. Yes, yes. How much do they hold? I guess that's the other question is like, uh, how much are we looking at feeding each cow? So they hold 18,000, so 36,000 uh, liters worth of food. So we'll do 18 of the hay, then 18 of the grass. 18 hay, 18 grass. 
there we go we're gonna have to so my other plan for july is to make a uh, field out there can you stop doing that You're making me sick uh put a field out there that maybe we can hire somebody to cut the grass uh put a probably whoops probably put it out that way to the right where the weed is that way you know we don't have to spend all of our time cutting grass we can just pick it up whenever they're done so that's something I, something i want to work on uh today plowing out a new field um that way we can have a continuous um grass crop so we can turn that into hay and grass and not run out but the cows are eating they look like they're having a good time let's go ahead and turn around real quick and we'll grab some straw we'll get in here so the camera doesn't all doesn't doesn't the security camera doesn't all wig out on us so we'll go here no 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 okay i forgot to choose and that's okay oh turn around we'll go ahead and dump this grass over here with these cows i do have to get the other three Yep. Well, that was rather embarrassing. I don't know what I hit. I guess I hit the, the, the suck up tube. All right, let's go ahead and get in here. That's going to be a terrible hill just like that. Is that that concrete is something else? Holy mackerel. I just wanted to feed my cows. What is going on? I tell you what, the uh, the hills in this game really give you a run for your money. They'll really hurt you. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this grass put down. We'll go pick up some hay, and then we'll have to give straw to both of them. That way they have some... Uh, it's probably not the cleanest cow sheds I found on Face Space, but they'll, they'll get the job done. They'll get the job done. Like I said, we're just looking to get all the milk we can before October, because that's when uh, you really, really get the most out of things. So we'll do some hay we are running low on uh hay and grass though so that's never a good thing i don't want to have to buy more just yet let's make sure we take this corner just a little bit easier there we go let's take this corner just a little bit easier i'm gonna have to fix this uh this bump right here it's it's not looking too nice for deliveries anyway let me get all all the uh cows fed and strawed up for all the barns i'm gonna get those cows moved to this barn since we didn't uh have enough money to fill it all the way up so give me a few minutes and i'll get this all squared away and then we can move on to plowing out a nice grass field for a i i an ai to work in all right see you in a few minutes all right, we got all the uh, cows, the open cow sheds, and then the other cow barns all ready to go. So we're gonna hook up to the animal trailer. That way you can grab these three beauties out of here and uh, that way they don't have to be in the elements no more. So let's go to open this up. We're gonna select, see how many we got there? One, move the trailer, and then we'll take these two move the trailer wonderful wonderful so we have no more cows left in the pasture the open air pasture so let's take them over here and we'll drop them off with each other that way they have some some company and they're not all alone let's see it's only 11 o'clock in the morning so we got plenty of time let's try to make a long let's see we'll, we'll, we'll do a long wrap around here so we don't get stuck oh oh careful cows i'm telling you i have to fix all of these these hills that are in this area they're a nightmare i need to go back and like review the security footage and do just a big uh you know uh put through with all that so let's do this there we go so now we got all the cows in there nice we have one liter of milk that's super exciting so let's go ahead and we'll we'll park this around the back because we don't need it for a while we'll go pull out the plow and we'll go ahead and plow up a big piece of pro i mean a big big piece of property because we're going to plant some grass down that way we have infinite grass ready to go at a moment's notice go ahead and drop that there we don't need it any longer we might go take care of that tree before we get uh plowing i think if we continue our barns back that way we should be fine because we have plenty of space because if we go this way just double check we pull out our map if we continue to go back that way we're only about halfway through our property line so we'll have plenty of sp uh, space it's plenty of space going that way so i'm thinking we'll put the grass down that way so we don't have to worry about uh you know 
it, ruining our, our chances of putting down more cow barns. So let's go ahead and go inside the shed real quick. Go in here. Go and pull our handy dandy chisel plow. There we go. Excellent. Go ahead and lift this up. All right, let's see exactly where we want to put this. I guess we could do... Hmm. I guess we could do a line like this way, because I don't know how much bigger we want to make this field. So we might just make it super long and skinny. So we start like right here. Because we can uh, extend the, the wheat path down that way. So I say we start here and we just make a big old long path straight back. That way we have nice long grass. Let's see, maybe, maybe like right here. All right, let's, uh, let's get to plowing. All right, we have finally limed the entire field and that is good news. We have we have plowed, we have seeded, we have rolled, we have limed. And now we have one more thing to do before we wrap up July. And that is going to be putting down some delicious fertilizer. That way we can have a beautiful, bountiful field of grass. We're going to get so much grass out of this. I'm thinking ah, probably half a million liters worth of grass that we can turn into hay i think we might go full hay uh for one well we gotta see how much our things are you know what i'm saying what will we have left so let's go ahead and uh attach this go ahead and plop this out this shouldn't take us long at all it's a pretty pretty decent width i'm thinking in year two maybe just maybe we will figure out uh to get bigger and better um equipment why you know with a bigger working with and stuff because that would be awfully nice so let's go ahead and uh get this all fertilized up i do have a question if you've made it this far into the video what should we do with the field back there or the pasture where the old cows used to be what should we put there what exactly would make us some money right there obviously we can't put another field there because that wouldn't make much sense but do we try to put maybe a bigger chicken coop? Uh, do we go other animals? Do we get some sheep? Um, I really don't want to do textiles and stuff like that for like, you know, clothing and uh, cloth and stuff like that. But let me know in the comments below, what, what, sh what should we put in that little square? You know, what, what can we put there to make it, uh, you know, uh, do something for us? So let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and get this entire field fertilized so we can wrap up July because it's about time. Gotta figure out 
where that line was that I missed, and I'm sure somebody's going to say something about it, and hopefully they don't. But we are completely finished for July. We have purchased more cows. We'll go ahead and get that whole uh, cow barn filled up in August, and then uh, hopefully uh, get some more milk going for there. I think August, September into October might be a little slow. We might, we might be able to uh, harvest some of this grass and then the straw. The straw should be uh, almost finished um, soon. I think there's only a few more growth uh, growths to go. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Yeah, I, you know, I just want to do my outro. Let's try this again. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support on this series and all the other series I have on my channel. Um, I really appreciate all the likes and the comments everybody has been given. You all are amazing. Thank you so much for the new community members. We did hit YouTube partner a couple weeks ago, and we've had a, uh, quite a few people become community members. I will definitely drop those names up on the screen. I got I to put those in because I am super uh, thankful for everything uh, that you guys have supporting that way also. Remember, what do you want to put in this right here? What goes here? Put in the comments below. Uh, other than that, be sure to like, be sure to comment, and be sure to subscribe because we are almost to 1,000 subscribers here on the channel. Thank you so much for being a big part of this journey. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, good night and take care of yourself.